Planned Parenthood's funding has recently come under attack in a bill proposed to Congress. This bill, called Defund Planned Parenthood Act of 2017, would remove funding from the organization unless they stop providing abortions. Planned Parenthood provides preventative health care services and sexual and reproductive health information and education for 2.5 million Americans who would otherwise find difficulty in accessing affordable health care. What would it mean for Planned Parenthood to be defunded if so many people rely on their services? This is Summer Migliori, and this is Cal TV News. The Senate being equally divided, the Vice President votes in the affirmative, and the motion to proceed is agreed to. Funding for family planning has long been under scrutiny at the nation's capital. Vice President Mike Pence's tie-breaking vote on March 30th passed a bill allowing states to withhold funding from family planning clinics, like Planned Parenthood, for providing abortions. 60% of people who visit Planned Parenthood rely on Medicaid or Title X funding. Defunding the organization would mean that clinics would not get reimbursed for providing health services for that 60%. Giving them one concession is going to open the floodgates for them taking away all different kinds of health care. So we really want to defend every inch of health care uh, that we can. The bill, introduced by Tennessee's Congressman Diane Black, a former nurse, could cut funding from health care clinics up to a year if they provide abortions. By putting these dollars in the federal community health centers, which provide the same kinds of services, for every Planned Parenthood, there, is a, there are 20 federal community health centers. Students for Life at Berkeley could not be reached for comment. Hi guys, it's Esme with CalTV Entertainment, and I'm here on Sprout today